The overall goal of this methodology is the detection of N-acetylneuraminic acid and N-glycolneuraminic acid in the liver and milk of wild type and CMAH knockout mice using HPLC analysis. This method can help to answer questions in the field of glycoscience, specifically the effect genotypes of CMH mouse models have on the actual salic acid contents of these animals. The main advantage that this technique has in comparison to genetic screens is that relative salic acid levels can be determined also for heterozygous mice. Evaluating these methods will be Cao Tsui and Wang Wenqiao, two graduate students from our laboratory. Begin this procedure with collection of mouse milk and mouse liver tissue from CMAH knockout mice as described in the text protocol. To isolate sialic acids from milk, transfer 50 microliters of milk into a 1.5 milliliter centrifuge tube and add 1.2 milliliters of prepared aqueous acetic acid solution. To isolate sialic acids from liver tissue, gently thaw 20 to 50 milligrams of mouse liver and transfer it into a Downs tissue grinder. Add 1.2 milliliters of the aqueous acetic acid solution and homogenize the tissue by gentle shearing for 10 seconds. Transfer the resulting suspension into a 1.5 milliliter centrifuge tube. Next, incubate the acidified milk or tissue suspension for 4 hours at 80 degrees Celsius. Then, centrifuge the sample at 14,000 times G for 10 minutes. Transfer the top 1,000 microliters of the supernatant into a fresh 1.5 milliliter centrifuge tube. 